Pick up a can of gold spray paint, take some scissors, and cut the stems apart from one another. Spread your blooms out and start to lightly spray paint each stem. Glue a couple of the stems to the side of a thin candlestick. Don't glue everything down, as you want some pieces sticking out for a 3D effect. Overspray the entire candlestick with your gold spray paint. Take a glass vase with a curved neck and cut your stem to about the same height as the vase. Hot glue one stem to the vase. Take another stem and hot glue it overlapping the leaves. Cut random leaves from other stems and glue them directly onto the glass. Take your bunches of small blooms and clip off the very top blooms from the stems. Grab a small round glass vase, I got mine from the dollar store, and start to glue the tiny blooms to the top rim of the vase. Fill the vase with some green moss. Today I'm going to make use of some candles in an alternate way. I'm going to light a few of them here. I'm going to take some of these scraps of contact transfer paper and I'm just going to use these to make a kind of stencil guideline. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to dip it in the wax and I'm going to start brushing it on on my candle. I saw these lemons recently. I grabbed this stick outside. I'm gonna snip them off the plastic branch that they came on. It's time to attach them to my real branch. It's time to add these beautiful faux lemons. I want the lemons to look natural, so I'm gonna attach them under the leaves. To keep the tree securely in place, I'm gonna use some floral foam. I'm gonna use some of the bright green moss here to cover up that foam. Take two woven tissue boxes and some round puck lights with a remote control. Glue the bottom of a puck light to the inside of a tissue box so it is centered over the hole. Run some hot glue around the top of one of the tissue boxes. Flip the other tissue box upside down and attach it to the glued top of the other box. Hang your new sconce on the wall. Set an edge of your lampshade against one edge of the wallpaper. Measure in one half inch to one inch and mark it by running a pencil where the shade meets the paper. Spray the outside of the lampshade with spray adhesive. Roll the lampshade onto the wallpaper, pressing and smoothing as you go. Apply double-sided tape to the inside lip of the top and bottom of the lampshade. Wrap the overage border of the wallpaper over the edge of the shade and press onto the double stick tape. Take some more tape and apply it to the top and bottom of the lampshade. Take some ribbon in a coordinating color and press half of the width onto the double stick tape and secure on the inside of the shade. Do this for the top and bottom of the shade. Continue the lamp makeover by spray painting the base of your lamp. I bought a set of bamboo plates, these LED bulb lights. I'm using two different types of spray paint, and then I'm gonna go over the top with a little bit of gold, unscrew this piece, and turn the light on. I'm going to use some double-sided adhesive mounting strips. Then I'm just gonna stick the light bulb to the center of the plate. Picture hanging strips. So I'm just gonna apply one big one to the back and hang it up on my wall. Separate the layers of a patterned paper napkin. Cut the paper napkin as needed. Now we are going to actually iron the paper napkin onto the taper. Heat an iron to medium low heat, not too hot. Take painter's tape and tape off sections on a taper candle. Make sure that the edges are pressed down securely on the edges of the tape. Once taped off, paint light coats of acrylic paint in the open sections of the candle in the color or colors of your choice. Let dry completely. Fill a heat safe container with hot water between 100 and 110 degrees. Place a taper candle in the hot water and let sit for 10 minutes. Paraffin candle works best for this. After 10 minutes, pull the candle from the water and then wrap the candle in some wax paper. Take a rolling pin and press down on the middle of the candle. Once the middle section is flattened, take the candle and gently twist it into the shape that you want. When you get the twist that you want, place the candle in cold water and this will set the candle in its new shape. 
Grab a can of black spray paint and a roll of rattan webbing. Grab one of those outdoor folding metal tables. Clean it up with cut some paper and tape to the table so only the frame shows. Give the frame a fresh coat of black spray paint and let it dry completely. Outline the top of the table onto the rattan webbing with a sharpie. Cut out the circle with some sharp scissors. Spray one side of the rattan with some spray adhesive. Spray the top of the table and let it sit for a few seconds until the surface is tacky. Place and press the sticky side of the rattan circle onto the top of the table. Place some heavy books on top of the rattan. Use some sharp scissors to trim the excess rattan from the circle. The next time you're at Dollar Tree, make sure you head to their frame section and grab some of these gold frames. I'm then going to come in with some wire cutters and I'm going to pull out the black tabs that keep the backing on. Then I'm going to take out the glass and I'm going to come with some E6000 and I'm going to glue the glass inside the frame. Then I'm going to come and take eight of the frames and I'm going to glue two of them together. And then I'm going to clamp them together and I'm going to let this set overnight. I came back the next day, removed all my heavy objects that I placed on top, and then as well removed the clamps from all the frames. So I'm going to glue all the sides and then I'm going to just raise them up here and build a rectangular shape. So two frames on each end and then the two that are glued together for the sides. I'm going to let this set overnight again, making sure that the glue is really solid. And then I'm just going to come in and finish it up with a nice A-frame top with my remaining four frames. Take 16 inch wood skewers. Start by gluing wood skewers around the inner circumference of one craft hoop. Remove every other skewer to allow for even spacing and add a second hoop to the center of the skewers. Gather all the pointy ends of the skewers and fit them into a three inch macrame ring and hot glue in place to secure. Take twine, lace, and ribbon and add it to mask any seams or imperfections from hot gluing. Take a plug-in light fixture kit and thread it through the center of the top of the macrame loop. Hand sew a simple over-under stitch around the perimeter of the placemats, but pause about two-thirds of the way through. Stuff polyfill stuffing in between the two placemats to whatever thickness you want. Then continue sewing the remaining space with the jute twine and tie off with a knot at the end. Using the upholstery needle and yarn, sew the pom-poms at different points around the perimeter of the pillow. Keep your eyes open the next time you are out walking and grab a straight stick about three feet long. If you have a flower pot, you are already good to go. Take two styrofoam blocks or floral foam and fit them into your pot. Place the bottom of your foraged stick on top of the two styrofoam blocks and cut a trough that is roughly the width of the stick. Put some hot glue on the bottom of the stick and set it into the trough. Press and hold until the glue dries. Place in the pot and fill with any other empty spaces with additional styrofoam. Take the styrofoam cone and cut it so it's about three to four inches tall. Take a metal straw and poke a hole in the cone. Put some hot glue on the top of the stick and slide the styrofoam cone onto the stick through the hole. Take all of your olive branches and cut off each individual stem. Poke the stem sideways into the pilot hole you created in the cone until you reach the first leaf on the stem. Where the leaf meets the base of the cone, place a bead of hot glue onto the back of that leaf and press it upwards onto the cone. Hold it there until it dries. This is the perfect way to disguise the styrofoam cone. Continue to stick stems into the cone with a little bit of hot glue to secure them. Add a little green moss to the top of the pot. Mm -hmm. 